So I am very excited about what I just got in the mail today. You know, you may not or may not know, I've been a huge Percy Jackson fan since I started to read the books um, when I was in sixth grade when I was 12 years old. Now I'm 23. And today, after like, it's been 15 years since the first book came out. So the same as Twilight. And this is the last ever Percy Jackson book. And it is so sad. I'm so sad, I wanna cry. And he said this one is gonna be an epic finale and there's going to be, you're gonna cry and I'm like, if you kill off another main character, Rick, I'm gonna lose my shit. It'll be a ride reading this and I'm nervous, excited, terrified, but I am so ready. I don't understand what went wrong. <laughs> so I make home bread a lot because my mom used to do it for me when I was in elementary school. And she taught me the recipe, which I think was her grandma's recipe. I made it, and it looks okay otherwise. But I opened the top, and it's supposed to get a dome shape. You know bread rises with the yeast? I put yeast in it. <laughs> this time it didn't rise. It collapsed. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it never's done that before. It's like, not only did it collapse, but like, it's kind of doughy. So I'm gonna let it cool, then I'm gonna take a slice and see if it's okay on the inside. Other, I mean, I'll still eat it because it's good bread. It's the first time I've had it collapse on me and I'm like, what did I do wrong? I looked at the recipe because I, I double checked. So, I mean, I can make it again, but I'm just like, why me? <laughs> why me? Did, however, make chocolate fudge brownies and they turned out delicious. Uh, one out of two, I'll take that. Normally everything I make turns out okay or like delicious. This is the first time that I've made this bread, the same ingredients, the same recipe, the same amount. That happened, but it still tastes okay. It's not inedible, it's edible, so I'll take what I can get. I'm not a profesh. I'm not an expert. If it tastes okay and it doesn't kill you, then I will take that. Running to town. Uh, this afternoon quickly. It's like one o'clock because they have my favorite flavor of ice cream today Or one of my favorite flavors where it's got chocolate ice cream Oreo chunks and then this creamy like marshmallow fluff or like marshmallow cream And it's so good. I'm just like bottle just the marshmallow cream and I will eat all of that And I might take a drive too depending on how much gas I have in my car because I know I need gas But I don't know if I need it now and the ice cream is free because I have a coupon so, a free scoop of ice cream, uh, can't go wrong there. Well, you really should have brought in those so we can crush for you today. Um, hi, I have a coupon for... Hi there. How's it going today? Pretty good. Good. I'll have that right out. Here you go, just the flavor. Thank you. Yep, enjoy. Jackpot, I got my ice cream! On Monday, yes, was it Monday? Yes, Monday. I bought a new sketchbook, a smaller one. I have not used a small one probably since, oh, summer 2019. What's the brand? Arteza, Arteza sketchbook. Um, and if you guys watched my vlog, I got two of them. The first one, I was a it's the biggest size of sketchbook I've ever used, so it was a very new experience. I learned some things. There's pros and cons to bigger sketchbooks, and I realized that for me, medium to small is my go-to. Big sketchbook is just too big for me, because I like to draw a lot of small things, but... I like to draw a lot of small things that take up maybe three or four pages versus like one page because then it feels like I'm taking forever. It took me forever to fill that giant sketchbook and I was just kind of like not with it. So then, so I finished it and it was 400 pages. It says 200 but if you're counting like one single page you can draw on both sides so I would consider it 400. It took me from like February of this year to July and then I started the second one. I, got, I think I got a... I, say I got like maybe 30% of the way through so not horrible but not great and I just decided I'm not doing as much traditional art as I used to I've been doing a lot of digital so to the point where I'm drawing digitally every day and maybe drawing traditionally once every four or five days it used to be where I do traditional art every single day and I would do digital art maybe like once every three to four days. So I kind of flip-flopped this year. 2020, what, what isn't happening this year? I decided to stop using this big sketchbook. And I like the sketches that I did in here. I'm just not 
happy with using a super big sketchbook. It's huge. Like, it's bigger than my face. Well, I went to a smaller one. The sketchbook brand, I actually don't know what the brand is, but if you can see the paper quality, it has like those dots, kind of like graph paper, but not, and it says it's more of like a journal. The paper doesn't hold markers super well. This is maybe like three to four layers of markers. It's kind of bleeding through a little bit. So you know how like a sketchbook, you see those people that have the really nice sketchbooks, but like they have stickers all over them and the pages are warped because they've been used. I want to have a sketchbook that looks used. I'm trying to like paste in so much stuff in here, like fill up every single space, just like put things everywhere. Also, I used alcohol-based markers again. I haven't used my alcohol-based markers probably since like March or February, so it's been a hot minute. I did this Optimus Prime and I think he turned out not half bad. I never really mastered alcohol-based markers and I don't use them any much anymore because I use a lot of Crayola. This is done with Crayola markers and I just like the way it looks better. But I did get this sketchbook at Michael's, so if you want to get one too. It's been a pretty productive day, I guess. I mean, for the most part. I made a Redbubble purchase today. I don't have my own Redbubble account. My mom does, and I've only bought two. She's only things off of Redbubble for me. One of them was my current phone case and uh, my t-shirt that I'm wearing in that Optimus Prime or Peter Cullen video. I don't think I've bought anything off of Redbubble since I bought my phone case, which I think was in 2017. I have a new sketchbook and I see all these people on Instagram and on YouTube who have the a solid black cover or a solid color of a sketchbook and they decorate it with artist stickers and I'm like, you know, I like stickers. I only have Transformers licensed Hasbro stickers. I want like some stickers from like artists and I ended up buying six stickers. It was a little bit more pricier than I thought or I wanted to spend but you know what? You gotta support your artists. So these were the stickers that I bought. I bought this cute little Todoroki sticker which is by this artist. Go check them out on Redbubble. Okay this is an Optimus Prime sticker that's Optimus from Prime and it has the sunflowers around it. Now for a very long time when I'd be surfing Redbubble just like looking at what they had in stock this would be one of the stickers slash like artist prints that I would see and be like, I love this. I've been looking at it for years. I decided to finally buy a sticker of it and it's by this lovely artist. And then obviously if you guys are following this person on Instagram, Mecha Guts, this is her sticker. Go check her out on Redbubble and Instagram. I see a lot of people own this t-shirt. But I have too many t-shirts right now, so I decided to buy it on a sticker, and it's by this fellow artist. And then, you know, I like I like this meme, this joke in the Marvel movie Endgame, so I was like, yeah, gotta have it as a sticker, and it's by this f artist. The last sticker, I wanted an Iron Man sticker, but I couldn't really find one that I liked or for that I could find. So I just bought the one with like gears and I think it's really cool. And it's by this person. Estimated delivery is not till like the end of October, which is okay. Happy to wait, but I am excited about my new sticker. Never been. Yeah. Open your window, maybe. Oh yeah, they probably have to be fine. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a Jack Skellington blow up. Oh, that's cool. Stop a minute now. Oh, there's another one in the back. Oh my like, god. Well, then the stop sign is going to be in the middle. Oh, you got to go oh, back oh. further now. That's so forward, cool. The, the car up there. Okay, stop, huh? Oh my god, the creepy car scares uh, me. My camera won't focus on it. Oh, there. There's another Jack Skellington up there. Zoom in. Is there. If I do that, it won't turn out. Let me do that. It's really creepy, but really cool. Oh, there's people walking. Are those people that own it right over there? They're walking right there. Or maybe they're viewing it. Oh, They'll probably stop be. to look at it. Oh, okay. I see. Listen. Oh, look at the lights on that house way back. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the coffin. There's the coffin. Oh, God. Shh. Stop. I can't, I can't turn my lights off. That's creepy. I think that's a... Uh, There's like a light in it. It's so creepy. It was so cool. This what looks is? like the guy down here at the bottom of the car looks like... Um, oh yeah! One of the like a... guys from Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, one of the orcs? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, the giant ghost! Oh, that's yeah, terrifying! That's cool. Oh, I Waves. like... 
I like the Jack Skellington. That's cool. He's even got a little zero down there. Yep. Oh, that's so cute. The whole thing is him. The pumpkin and everything. Oh, okay. it says welcome to Halloween town. Perfect, because this house drive is kind of like... Drive up, it says. Can you drive in there? I mean, if it's telling you yes, then... Because they got lots of decorations. Oh, there's there. dinosaurs. <laughs> the wooden dinosaurs. Oh. You must be able to drive in there. Oh, Just no, there's... Drive out. Oh, there's the wooden spider. E. Oh, you want to walk? I do want to walk in. Oh, that's all oh, kinds yeah, of people. Don't. There's all kinds of people walking. Oh, in there. Should we walk in there? Should we park and walk in there? Let's. Dang. They even got a Christmas wreath in the back there in the middle of all of this. I don't know. I don't want someone to pop out and scare me. I'd literally run for the hills. No, I'm guessing the ghost thing talks to you. I mean, he must talk to you. It's so cool. It's really close to me. I think that's a real person. No, if it's a real person, I'm walking back to the car and I'm <laughs> jumping the hood. I can't do that. No real people for me. I'm just so terrified somebody's going to jump out at me and I'm not ready for it. I'm so terrified. I don't even want to go near anything. <laughs> the lights are really pretty. I would imagine. I love all the lights though. Like the pumpkin lights. So pretty. Oh, the pumpkin lights are so pretty in the carriage. Oh, look at the big the spiders over there. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> I'll pass on you. Why did you have to make it my favorite color, too? Those that are really cool. Those are really cool, yeah, though. That? The pumpkins, yeah, like the swirl. The light. It's the light they got. Oh, playing. it's kind of like a. Yeah, cool. Ma Mitch, magical, yeah. mystical thing. Oh god, not the creepy doll. <laughs> That's some Annabelle, Annabeth shit. Oh my god, there's a black cat over there walking. There's a black cat. Yeah, right over there. Like, you can see it over there. I don't like the creepy doll. She's terrifying me. That is something you see out of like real, those horror movies like Annabelle and like Chucky. No, thank you. Oh god, no, that's too scary. What? The doll on the swing going la 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 la. Her eyes glow. That's just more terrifying. I don't like it. You're just scared, freaking me out. I'll just stick with the skeleton fam. What's up, fam? Hey, that's rude. Don't call me a crybaby. He sounds like Pennywise from It, and I don't like it. Zombie di- oh god. No. And then just casually over there we have a flamingo. A little light up flamingo just chilling over there. <laughs> he's not gonna say anything. Or he's just gonna insult you. Mr. Creepy Jack in the Box. My Redbubble order came to my surprise today, especially when it said for all of the stickers that it was going to be around the 20th to the 23rd of October. I believe today's the 12th or 13th. It's a little early, but I don't know if it's one sticker because I've never ordered stickers from Redbubble before. I've only ordered a phone case and a t-shirt, so I don't know if it's just one sticker. I don't know if they ship them all together. I don't know because some are coming from the UK and some are from the United States. So I'm just going to open it and see. The packaging is really cute. Attention to detail. I like that. Okay. Not trying to rip anything. Good. Open. Doing this one handed is not easy. I'm trying not to show my address on the other side. Oh, it's all of my stickers! Oh! Ooh, they're pretty! Ooh! I love this. They look really pretty. Oh my god. Look at little Todoroki. He's so cute. I love the options from the sunflowers. These are so cool. Ooh! This is Mecha Guts's sticker. This is really cool. I wanted to get shiny, but they were a little bit more expensive. But this is so cool. Oh, and in the Prime Shop. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> America's ass. I love these stickers. They're so cool. They feel so nice. But oh my god, they're so cute. I can't wait to put them, rearrange them on my sketchbook. I'm so happy. This is the first time I'm buying artist stickers. Usually I just buy like licensed stickers. By like the actual companies that are at the stores 
but I am very excited to have artist stickers and put them on my sketchbook, and my sketchbook's gonna look really pretty, and I'm very excited. So I have put all of the stickers, well, minus two of the stickers, on to my sketchbook, and they look really cool. I really like the way these stickers look. I only really got stickers for the three, like, main fandoms that I'm in. I'm in a ton of fandoms, but, you know, I forgot that, like... I've mostly just drawn Percy Jackson fan art in here. I could have gotten a Percy Jackson sticker, and I also realized I could have gotten a Twilight sticker, but it's fine. I can, I can, I can get more stickers for another sketchbook in the back, because I didn't really know if I wanted to put any stickers on the back, just because the back is going to be sitting on the ground. I don't know if I want to get the stickers that I paid a lot of money for to get dirty. So I just have the two other stickers in here. Might put them in the sketchbook somewhere else, like maybe... On the inside flap maybe on another page but for now we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it to I'd say the one is good news the other one's kind of bittersweet news is I finished the last I wouldn't technically call it the last ever Percy Jackson book but it's the last ever Percy Jackson series because Rick said if he ever writes more which I'm pretty sure he will knowing him is he'll probably write standalones with characters which I will be just as happy about because it means more time with a character, which he kind of tweeted about maybe hinting at a Nico D'Angelo standalone, and I'm like, could it potentially be with Nico and Will? Because I'd be down for that anytime. <laughs> yeah, this is the last ever Percy Jackson series book. Technically the last ever Percy Jackson book. And it's really sad. So I discovered this series the same when I was in sixth grade when I was 12 years old. The same time that I discovered Twilight. But this one kind of holds a little bit more in my heart than Twilight. Twilight will always have my heart. But this one has a lot, a little bit more in my heart because I started this series. The first book is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I started the series, that series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, right after the last book. And that series came out. I started the first Percy Jackson book ever when I was 12 years old and Percy was 12 years old. I kind of knew what Percy was going through because I too was 12 years old at the time. And so I've kind of grown with Percy. When he's grown, I've grown up. So that's why those books sold or those books hold such an important place in my heart. It was very sad to finish this book, but I really liked the ending. I think they wrapped up every character's little story and I'm happy where all the characters are now. The good news is I just hit 300 subscribers on YouTube. Oh. I have had my YouTube channel since January. I think it's 26th or 28th of 2012. So it's, it's, it's been a while. Like making it to 308 years may not be an achievement, but I consider it to be. I was sitting at 200 for the longest time. And then I think it's when I started incorporating more content on my channel, more art content and starting to do more Transformers content is when my channel started to grow a little bit. I think within 2019 and 2020, my channel has grown a lot faster than it has in any other year. And I'm very happy about that. My content is still just mainly Transformers, but I want to incorporate other things in there. And I think people have been getting used to that because that's what my Instagram is too. I've really incorporated a lot more other fandoms that I'm into and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys for getting me to 300 subscribers. Also, thank you guys so much for my last three videos doing super well. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully my next videos are going to do great because I like this constant flow of good views, but I'll still take the 30 to 40 views. Even the even the 14 views, I still take it because with my Twilight content, the two Twilight videos that I posted to you, I thought no one was gonna watch them. My Midnight Sun, going to pick up Midnight Sun video has a thousand views, so that's exciting. And my longest video ever on my channel, which is 44 minutes long, is my Twilight Midnight Sun reading vlog, and that is 100 views. So who knew my Twilight content? To be fair, it's Midnight Sun, so that's why it's probably getting really big. Thank you guys so much for the constant support. I appreciate it because I love doing YouTube videos. Even if I'm getting no pay out of it, it's still really fun to make.